Hi, everybody. Um, glad you're here. I just wanted to share an image with you today from Portugal. This was originally shot on large format film, 4x5 film, and uh, it's a scene from the Praça de Ribera, a famous plaza in Porto. And if you get a chance to visit there, I would highly recommend it. You can see it's a very busy scene. There's a lot going on there, some very stunning architecture there, and I was happy to be there and, and capture this scene. Uh, today, we're going to go through how platinum palladium prints like this are made, and we're going to go through the process from the very beginning all the way through to the finished product. The print will begin with the negative, and in this case, our negative is an enlargement from the original 4x5 piece of film. We'll also need some paper that's been coated with a light sensitive material to receive the image. Just before coating the paper, we'll mix together iron, palladium, and platinum solutions. This will be our light sensitive coating. The chemicals are mixed together one drop at a time. The proportions must be precise and will affect the appearance of the image. The paper must also be of the highest quality to create a durable archival image. Here we are using a pure cotton paper produced by Hannemühle in Germany. The goal is a smooth, even coating across the paper. Quick but careful work is needed before the solution is absorbed into the paper. Hand coating means that each finished print will be unique, a one-of-a-kind piece of art. Once coated, the paper is allowed to dry briefly. The paper and the negative are then sandwiched together and carefully placed into a spring-loaded contact printing frame. The printing frame holds the negative and the paper in close contact so that the image will be sharp. Ultraviolet light is used to transfer the image onto the coated paper. The exposed paper may show some traces of the latent image, but it won't be complete until the developer has been poured over it. This transformation takes just a few moments as the chemicals react and deposit pure platinum and palladium onto the paper. It's kind of a magical moment. The print will be washed several times to remove trace chemicals and then dried. Like gold, platinum and palladium are extremely stable elements, and the finished print is capable of lasting a thousand years or more. Many people believe that platinum prints are the highest expression of traditional photography. And here we are, this is the finished print, just fresh out of the wash bath. It's still even just a little bit damp, but I think you can have a good look at what it's going to be when it's dried and framed. If you're interested in learning more about platinum printing or you want to see more of my work, please stop by the website thecunninghampress.com and uh, also on Facebook at thecunninghampress. Dot, um, not dot com, but thecunninghampress. And uh, give us a like if you like. Thank you.